Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Got a quick video on a little technique for creating variable offset surfaces. So as you can see here, I've created a surface in the background here, and this is the variable offset with the offset gone from this end and increasing towards this end. So this is controlled with a variable, got a target thickness, and then I have a quarter thickness, half thickness, and three quarter thickness, and basically if you update the target thickness and rebuild, the quarter, half, and three quarter thicknesses update automatically. And also if you change, like with Instant 3D on, if you change the base surface, okay, so you can see the variable offset updates so this is using face curves uh, and offset surfaces to control the variable offset surface so I'm just going to roll back and uh, run through this super quickly okay so I have a base surface I'll just turn instant 3d off got a base surface and then I've created an offset which is called target thickness and that's what you saw in here in the variable. So I'll set up a target thickness. And that target thickness variable is controlling this offset surface. Then I've created three other offset surfaces, which are the quarter thickness, the half thickness, and the three quarter thickness. I, I settled on um, splitting into uh, um, having one two three four five sections is enough for the surface to get the um sort of flow going okay you might need more you might you might be able to get away with less but just for this example that's the um it's the number of sections i've needed or i've settled on so in the equations for these one two three i've then controlled you know double click on that offset Double click on the offset surface, three quarters, and then I've assigned that the variable. So you create the offset surface, exit the offset, and then you assign the variable. Okay, next thing I've done is create a 3D sketch. So this 3D sketch has three face curves in it. So I'll just I'll just create another one just to show how I did this. So I went insert 3D sketch. So I've decided I want the variable surface to start from this end and run down towards this end. So first thing I need to do is on this surface, which is the quarter, you go tools, sketch, tools, face curves, which brings up face curves. Okay. And I want a curve in this direction, so blue, so we turn off the pink ones. And then I want a position. So I want it 25% the way along. So if I type in 25 and see what happens, okay, it's working from the other end, so we go 75%. Then go okay on that, and then I pick the next surface up, which is the mid surface, and then go tools, sketch tools, face curves, and repeat. Position 50% because that one's in the middle, and then last is the three quarter one. So tools, sketch tools face curves, turn off the pink direction, and position, and 25. Okay, so there I've got my three sections. So I'm going to use the uh, 3D sketch that I've already got. Let's delete that, roll back here, there's my 3D sketch. And then in the boundary surface, I'll just go and rebuild it. Pretty simple, clear selections. So I'll turn my curves off because the first curve I want to use is the edge of the base surface. Okay. Then I'll turn my 3D sketches. Then I want to go selection manager because there's more than one entity in the 3D sketch. You've got to use the selection manager. Just pick one at a time. Right click, selection manager. Right click, selection manager. And then the last section is we pick the edge here of the target thickness surface and go OK. hide those and there we go so that's it basically so i can go in as i showed you equations 
make a five, hit rebuild. So this is using offset surfaces. So of course this surface will track uh, following the normal of the edges of the base surface. So you will get some curling and stuff like that going on. Um, depending on what you want to do, you might want to trim these back. Yeah, it all depends on what you want to do. So if we turn on our Instant 3D again and go and So it's quite robust. Um, I know this surface isn't the most advanced, uh, you know, with curvature. This side over here is normal to section, so. Yeah, so I've got another example, uh, slightly more advanced. I'll just jump over to that now. Okay, so as you can see in this example, it's a surface with more curvature. So in this case, I've pretty much built everything exactly the same way. Um, equations for thickness control, different names unfortunately, but the same thing. Uh, except in this case, what I've had to do is, if I just use those cross sections, I had to specify curves in the second direction. Because if I delete these, you can see the surface. The resulting surface is jumping from section to section because there's more curvature in this one. So I've had to create splines through the end points of those 3D sketch profiles. Okay, and those splines are using, uh, not style splines, but it's the old interpolated spline. So this line here is tangent to the surface edge. And same here, because the spline here won't, if I try and make it tangent to the surface edge here, it will try and loop around and make it tangent 180 degrees. So I'm making that tangent to this line here. And then interpolated um, spline, it's just got a line on each, um, a point on each. I'll just roll back and show you. So if you go insert, 3D sketch, old fashioned spline. Okay, and we start at the end. One, two, three, four, five. Then I create center line at each end. Okay, that one's on the Z, so just pick that edge and make that tangent, and then you can pick the spline and make it tangent to that. And same on this end. Okay, so that's how I made that spline. So I'll just exit this real forward uh, and just show you. So again, if you change the number here, we go to three millimeters and hit update. That updates. Just a little bit more advanced having uh, curves in two directions. And the other thing you can do to, if you want to check your result using the display body compare tool, you pick a source body and then you pick a body to compare to. And that basically gives you a, uh, a plot of thickness or distance between uh, normal points on those surfaces. So if you see here, I made this three millimeters thick, so it's showing unmatched color because red here is ending at 1.6. So you want to pull this out here until we get to roughly three. So you can check your thicknesses there and you get nice, we've got a nice sort of even gradient from zero millimeters through to uh, the target thickness. And this thing here, you can leave the body compare running while you go in and uh, modify. So if I go in here and start playing around with, you know, some of the dimensions, uh, it will update. So there's a quick rundown on how to make a variable offset surface in SolidWorks uh, using base curves and offset surfaces and global variables. Thanks for watching. Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Bye.